Okay, so we're on to summer. Let's look at some summer events now. First one uh, on our list is June 7th to the 8th, and it's the Southwest Virginia Bronco Fest. It's at the Apex Center in Wytheville, Virginia. Um, this looks like a kick your feet back up on the port trail and have a good time in the beautiful hills of Southwest Virginia. They cater to all Bronco generations and have a swap meet, four bands, and a super cool t-shirt design. Um, every year, their t-shirts are gorgeous. I, I've seen you wear at least one. Yeah, yeah. So, And you can see these t-shirt designs online. Uh, they either have like an early Bronco or a Gen 6 Bronco version. Um, they do a really good job with those. Moving right along, May 30th to June 2nd is the Carlisle Ford Nationals in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Um, now, the reason, you know, this is a Ford event, but... The Mid-Atlantic Early Bronco Club partners with the Carlisle Ford Nationals um, and kind of does an event along with the Ford Nationals, which I think is just super cool. Uh, Ford Nationals, I mean, it's one of the largest all Ford events, if not the largest event. So if you like Fords, it's an amazing event to go to. But then also uh, working with the Mid-Atlantic Early Bronco Club, doing some Bronco stuff together, some, um, I forget what all they do together, but um, it's a it's a pretty cool like kind of partnership. Like you get the Carlisle National event, which is super cool. And then you get to hang out with your uh, your Ford or your uh, Bronco buddies at the same time, so you know win win both both sides. So uh, yeah, definitely check that one out. Um, and all these events, we're putting links in the description uh, below where you can see these events, where you can click on the links and go to them and sign up. So in June twelfth to the fifteenth, we have our second Super Celebration event, which yeah. this one is in Wisconsin. Super Celebration Wisconsin. It's at the Wisconsin Dells. And uh, it's a new event. Uh, I guess it's two years old now. And uh, this will be the third year. And it's one of the four events that Tom Broger, Broberger puts on. Yep. And uh, he also puts on uh, Bronco Driver Magazine. So gets all kinds of great support for these, these events. Um, what I like about the Super Celebration events is that it's open to all generations. Yeah. And it, they've just been growing like crazy. Every event they have grows by 25, 50 per, well, probably not 50%, but probably 25% per year. So yeah. um, if you're anywhere in the Northwest, this is an event to get to. Yep. They uh, So Wisconsin Dells, it's actually being held at the Chula Vista Resort in central Wisconsin. So um, that's about between Chicago and Minneapolis. Oh, okay. Yeah. June 19th through the 22nd is the East Coast Bronco Roundup, ECBR. There's a Pennsylvania event put on by the MEB, or the Mid-Atlantic Early Bronco Club. Uh, this is, it's a wheeling event in uh, Pennsylvania. They go to Roush Creek and AOAA, um, which are a couple off-road parks uh, right there. In, in Pennsylvania, pretty cool uh, event for sure. A lot of, you know, that's a, that's a good one to go to. Um, if you haven't, like, taken your Bronco wheeling yet, you look at this list and find one of these events that you could go wheeling at. If you're in the Pennsylvania area, like the, the northern region, like, that's a great one to go to. Um, if you're out on the West Coast, I'd definitely hit up uh, United by Bronco. If you're down in Texas, then Lone Star, um, the uh, one in Katemsi Rocks. But yeah, this is a this is a good one for the Mid Atlantic Club region. Well, that takes us through June, and um, I think it's really important if you just go to the links that we provide, um, you'll see what the agenda is for the event. You'll see pictures of. Gen 6 Broncos and full-size Broncos if uh, it's completely open. But you can pick these events if you just want to wheel. Yeah. Like you don't need to join the club or anything like that. You can just yeah. show up and have a good time. Or you can show up and just show your Bronco um, if it, if you don't want to get any pinstripes in the woods. Yeah. Totally. Uh, yeah, if you got a r real pretty Bronco. <laughs> and there are that all is kinds. not me. It, that's not yours? No. <laughs> I, haven't, I don't know that I've really scraped my new Bronco up yet. <laughs> So I'm getting ready to dig the old the old iron out. Yeah, do some real wheeling. So I'm gonna I know I'm gonna hit um, at least two events this spring, and then a bunch 
or our club will put uh, rides on. So another great thing is if you go to the events, you get to meet people. John, you've met all kinds of people yeah. at Supercell and Townsend because in Tennessee, you've been going for how many years? Uh, I think 10 years or 12 years, I think. Somewhere around there. I think I started in 2013 going. But, yeah, yeah. I think I might have taken a year off there. but So about 10 years. We didn't say this, but a really cool thing about Supercell is you can place orders with, like, Tom's Off-Road. Yeah. And they will send it their free freight. They send, like, two truckloads. Yeah. And I believe some of the other companies do, too. I think Dennis Carpenter does that also. Oh, and wow. You can order your stuff, and it'll be there, and you just load it up and take it with you. Yeah. You can even install it while you're there. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so now we move on to the second half of the year. So we're going to start here in July. The first event for July is July 19th to the 21st, and it's Tom's Off-Road's Rock and Roll event in Medford, Oregon. Have you ever been there, John? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I have. That's a great one. <laughs> Great one for sure. Donnie and I will be be there again this year. We went last year. It was a lot of fun. I'm I was born out just outside of Medford, so I'm that's my that's not where I call home, but that's where I was born. Yeah, yeah. So it's really it's like going home for John. That's yeah. why I was teasing him. But yeah. this event's awesome. They have a light band. <clears throat> they have a couple hundred trucks. It's a really good event. And uh, there are all kinds. Of, and we always talk about this, but the trucks look different. Yeah. They are Northwest style Broncos. They, totally different. They yeah. wheel their trucks. Yeah. Even the pretty ones. But yeah. uh, it's not like going to maybe Carlisle where you find an original 66 Bronco Roadster. These are lifted trucks and yes. they're serious. And the cool thing is they have a couple rides John, and we split up. John went on one and I went on the other one. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I went on the Crater Lake Cruise, um, <clears throat> which was just a drive. And you went on the actual like off-road trail, which I think talking to them, they are going to do even more this year. Going to have it at a different location um, and be able to do a lot more and yeah i think it's it's going to be good it's hot at this event like this is i mean there aren't many events in the summer because the summer is hot <laughs> and broncos get hot um but this is one in the middle of the summer and it gets hot there but it's beautiful and it's like i love i love going to the, the tom's event yeah we did the mcgrew trail yeah and it was so cool i got to ride in i was hopping around i was a floozy. <laughs> <laughs> I've rode in like 10 different Broncos <laughs> and, uh, the, I got to ride in ones that have new coil over suspensions in the back and they ride like you're on pillows. Yeah. And, uh, I got to ride in some monster trucks practically and a whole bunch of gen six trucks. And we were rock climbing on them. I mean, we yeah. were doing, uh, we weren't bypassing the hard obstacles. It was really neat. And the, the McGrew trails, absolutely gorgeous oh, so, so i mean you're beautiful. climbing the top of the mountains so yeah 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 i can't wait to go back yeah next up is the bronco takeover this is another one where we don't know the dates uh but this one's usually in mirrors michigan golden sands golf course um and uh yeah not sure if this is happening or not but um you know when you're not in january I'm sure you'll know. So if you're watching this later, then I'm sure you'll know whether or not this event is happening. But Bronco Takeover, it's the Dunes event for uh, the northern northern region. I said I was going to go to that last year. You did. I didn't make it. Yeah. I am absolutely going to hit this there one you this go. year. There so you go. Being on the Dunes, and then again, the Dunes Broncos are very different very than different. any other kind of Broncos. So yep. they have paddle tires on the back. and. Yeah giant flags and they have a big time. I just can't wait to do that. So yeah. I don't even have to have anything to drive. I actually got an invitation. So I'm going to take this guy up and nice. go jump some dunes. Nice. Well, the other dune event is August 14th through the 17th and it's the Northwest Bronco Roundup. So this one is in Florence, Oregon. Uh, so all you Pacific Northwest folks, Come out to this one. Cruises, dune riding, hundreds of Broncos. This is a big event. They've been doing this. You actually have a poster of it uh, right up there. The uh, Northwest Bronco Roundup from 2021. And I mean, how many Broncos are there? 200? 
Yeah, it's, it, was, it was almost 200. Yeah. So it's a it's a cool event for sure. Like it's not a not a small event by any means. Northwest Bronco Roundup it used to be called Son of a Beach, and they <laughs> changed it. The next event is one that I got to go to. It's August 16th through the 17th, and it's the Great Smoky Mountain Bronco Stampede. Um, this is a new event. It was first year was last year. It's in Pigeon Forge at the LeConte Center, which is their big convention center. And uh, Justin puts this event on, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, there's hotels everywhere. There's Ripley's Museum. There's rides. There's It's kind of like Disney World in the mountains. I probably can't say that. But um, it's really cool. Uh, And Justin that put this event on has the very following weekend the Jeep event. And just to get you an idea of what a great event planner this guy is, do you know how many Jeeps they had at their Jeep event last year? How many? 50,000. I know. It sounds like an insane number. So this guy, if anybody can plan an event for Broncos. Wow. And, uh, so this last year was his first year. Our club went. We represented. And uh, there were already a couple hundred Broncos first year. So It's going to be a big event. Yeah. So this event will grow and grow and grow. And there's no lack of finding something to do. And everybody's cool with the Broncos cruising around. So it's kind of like a Bronco cruise yeah. and the convention center is nice. So uh, if you want air conditioning, it was really nice last year. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, well, speaking of a Bronco cruise, August 17th is the Woodward Dream Cruise. Uh, and this is down Woodward Avenue in Michigan. Yeah, Detroit. Detroit. Um, and this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a uh, like, you know, has kind of just all kinds of Fords and stuff like that, but and not just Broncos. Um, but there's a huge Bronco community that comes out and shows up, and it's a 16 mile loop. Um, the cruise is so. I mean, you know, it's this part of Woodward Avenue that um, is. It's been going on since 1995. Wow. Um, and uh, Bronco Nation's a huge part of uh, having the the Broncos out there um, for the Woodward cruise and they do stuff. I mean, there's, there's stuff going on and it's a really cool, um, really cool event, uh, August 17th. And then moving through into September, September 4th through the 7th, we go to our third super celebration event, uh, super celebration West or super cell Colorado in Buena Vista, Colorado. I mean, this is a beautiful spot. This is a great event. Uh, if you are on the West Coast, this is a great event to go to. It's not like Supercell Tennessee, where people just kind of hang out and go on some cruises. Like people are out on the trails, you know, 90% of this event. Um, and it just like, I mean, some of the most iconic scenery driving, taking your Bronco and through Colorado and, and all that. So this is an awesome event to go to definitely as a bucket list event. And, um, I, I love it. We, we need to go to this event. Yeah, I know. I need to take my Bronco like full on, just drive it out there all the way. We could trailer it part way. Yeah, maybe we could. <laughs> maybe we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was so I know Denver is sixteen hours. Oh. So and I think this event's maybe a couple more hours away. Yeah, I think it's like three hours from Denver. Okay. So yeah, yeah. And it is beautiful out there. I yeah. looked at all the pictures last year, and we were talking to people from Tom's because they were actually working at the event. Yeah. They set up a tent and everything and. They're like, everybody went for a drive, and then everybody comes back, and people come in from town, and uh, yeah. they said it was an awesome event. It is. It is. Good event for sure. Yeah, that's a fun one. Uh, next event we have is in Oklahoma. So um, we don't have the dates for this one yet, but it's in Tul- Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, it will be at the Hot Springs Off-Road Park. Um so what you'll need to do is just go online to Oklahoma Classic Broncos.net and uh, you can see the information for that event. 